Welcome back, everybody, to another weekly edition video chat, coronavirus, social distancing, yada, 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 whatever you want to call it, Thing. episode of the Basement <laughs> Review. I'm joined, as always, by Alex, Tyler, and Justin, and we're going to have some beers with you, and let's review. Oh, beer. So since I introduced, I'll start. I've got, from Monday Night Brewing, Anti Meridian. It's an imperial brown ale. It is brewed with maple syrup. Ugandan vanilla beans and coffee. So and I'm drinking out of a different brewery glass, but it's okay. Yeah, my, my beer is definitely in a different glass as well. So. That's what 12th labor, 12th labor should have tasted like. That's really? Good. Yeah, that's okay. really good. But it's a brown ale, not a stout. Yeah, it's not a stout, but what all the stuff that 12 flavor was kind of about they were trying to be the taste they were trying that's that's this is what it should have been yeah it's a good beer i've had that one before mm -hmm. it's a really good beer it's a 13 and a half so it's it's boozy wow. i like it wow so yeah it's so, not it, it's i don't get and you don't get <laughs> the stickiness as much as uh 12 had you know it's got maple syrup in it but it doesn't nearly have enough Okay. Or as much so. So does the coffee come through like strong yes. enough for brown? Yeah. Because oh, you can taste browns, browns have a little bit lighter body in general. Um, I, I drink a lot of coffee, so I can taste it. Okay. I don't know somebody, you know, I, I like coffee. I love, you know, so I can taste just a little bit. Yeah. The midway through, you taste coffee, but you get oh. a lot of chocolate. I get chocolate with syrup. That's probably what the syrup is, mostly the maple syrup. Mm -hmm. it tastes like chocolate, but. Yeah, I'd give that like a four seven. Oh, that's hot. Oh wow. wow. Yeah. Sure. I might have to go pick really up good. a bottle. It's been a while since I had it. I might have to go pick up a bottle and just retry it. And it's from yeah. Red Brick? <laughs> no. no uh, Monday, Monday night. night. Monday night. I'm sorry, I apologize. Monday night. Okay. Yeah, that's a four seven. That's a that's a keeper in my book. I'll definitely get that one ever again if I can. Interesting. All right. Who wants to go next? I can go next. Uh tonight. Completely opposite of the spectrum from Andrew. I've got a sour ale, uh, over and over and over. Sour ale with pineapple and vanilla. Um, it is from Orpheus. It is a 7.5% sour, though. So it's strong on the sour side of things. Yeah, wow. And, and it comes in uh, the big <laughs> tall boys. So, uh, poured me. with very little head. Um, you can see it. And smells good, though. It's got... Pineapple vanilla, the pineapple vanilla comes right through. It smells almost like ambrosia a little bit. You get that vanilla, that pineapple kind of flavor to it. It's really good. It's not overly sour. It's got a little bit of that pineapple astringency, that's that acidity on the back end. A little bit of vanilla. It's really good. This is a good outdoor sipping beer at seven half percent. It does not pool taste. Beer? Yes, it does not taste anywhere close to seven and a half percent. It is very uh, smooth. Yeah. So is it, is it really tart? Does it grab you like, you know, back behind the jaw or is it just... It's, it's no, it's it's not behind the jaw. It reminds me of that we reviewed uh, Atalanta. Uh -huh. That same kind of tartness. It kind of has that little bit of okay. bread mice, these little funkiness, a little sour. Um, natural fermented ale kind of deal. So more um, of a tartness, less of a sourness? Exactly. I would say it's tart. It's tart. It's not Sour Patch Kids tart, but it's like, uh, it's like pineapple. Pineapple's got that tartness to it. Kind of tastes like that. So it's really good. And it, I'm gonna. I've bought a four pack. I'm, I'll save one so you guys can try some as well. Um, I don't know if it's a limited release or if it's a new thing from them, but I picked it up the day it was released here a couple about a week ago, and uh, yeah, it's very very good. So Orpheus over and over and over sour ale with pineapple vanilla. Go ahead and get it. It's very good. I'm gonna give this one a 4.4. Oh wow, it was very good. I'm definitely gonna want to try that. Yeah um, right um good so if you don't mind i'll go next yeah uh so since it's craft beer week national quack craft beer week whatever calendar right. day it is uh drove up to nofo picked up a couple more crowlers they're one of my closest breweries and i really like supporting them they do a great job they've got a great outdoor area and again they're dog friendly so drove up there, picked up Wallace's Reben or <clears throat> sorry, Wallace's Freedom. It's a Scotch ale uh, for 7.2 percent. 
uh, just released this month. Nice dark color to it. Great smell, malty, a lot of malt and caramel, uh, slightly boozy. Definitely tastes like a Scotch ale. Uh, kind of taste a little bit of peatiness to it, maybe, <laughs> if I let it sit on my tongue. And it, Scotch ales are one of my favorite style of beers, but it seems like nobody really brews them, or at least around us. Monday nights got drafty kilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the only one I can think of offhand. There is a Kelpie, but I don't think that's, I don't think they even have that on draft anymore. <clears throat> it was right. a, a variant. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. was a variant. Yeah. But yeah, I know so, you, you've always liked the Scotch ales. Yeah. Because um, what's the one, innocent, isn't innocent gun considered a Scotch ale? I think, I think the, the, one of them is the original. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The original. <clears throat> Because I remember this is this is going we go the way way back machine here when we first you know got to that legal drinking age and craft beer was I mean there was craft beer but craft beer was something more of which you couldn't get local and I was like Yingling you couldn't get in Atlanta uh, where we were going to school at the time you couldn't get that so that was a you go get a you know a twelve pack or a case of Yingling that was a big deal but I know Innocent Gun was one of the first craft style beers that we really kind of delved into and I've I always have liked it um, I still so, love yeah. that beer. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I agree. I think Scotch ales are uh, an underutilized style. I mean, IPAs, now sours have been the, the new and upcoming thing. So it's always good that we've got, you know, traditional ales. We've got a brown ale. we got a Scotch ale. I've got some that's a little bit different, but I think Alex may have some that's more of a traditional as oh, well. So Before yeah, we so move on to Alex, real mm -hmm. quick, 4.0. Okay. 4.0. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a good, solid beer. I will drink a lot of it at the brewery if they keep brewing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't wait to see where they go with it because so far they've improved on each iteration of each of the beers they've turned out. Okay. So, well, no, folks, putting out some putting out some good stuff. Yeah, they are. All right. So, a little bit of backstory. So, uh, I'm doing uh, Southern Brewing's uh, 7 a.m., which is uh, American Light Lager, 4.2 uh, percent. This week. I have been dieting and running and exercising, trying to get back down to my, you know, pre-Thanksgiving weight, you know, even though we're almost to June. Uh, and then I reward, and I did, I succeeded this morning. I weighed, you know, I got to my goal weight and then I proceeded to- So are you uh, sleeping in trash bags again? Uh, I, I, I should, that might help too. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a thing? Do okay. you want to share with the world what your weight is? No. No. Uh, <laughs> Can we guess? <laughs> no. <laughs> my guess. Then, and I proceeded to pick out on Chick Fil A this morning as a reward to myself. So, you know, that just—I just wanted to see if I could do it. I wasn't going to maintain it because, frankly, it's miserable to maintain it. Yeah. So, it—I wanted to pick up some session beers, right? Mm -hmm. so, okay, go ahead, Justin. I could tell you're—you're you're dying to. <laughs> I was going to say it's, it's ironic. I did not know that. And I made homemade cinnamon rolls today, so I took pictures <laughs> of homemade cinnamon rolls without this knowledge at all. So I kind of want to bundle some up and drop them off at Alex's house now. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, I have I have been, you know, so, yeah, significantly limiting my my food intake for the past week and, and just trying to, you know, cut back. You know, I haven't been drinking since Sunday, which, you know, when Tyler, uh, you know, I think it was Tyler that set out that it was a, uh, you know, it's uh, beer week. Craft, craft beer week. I'm like, oh. I haven't even been drinking since Sunday, so I felt bad. But, uh, you know, in, in light of that, you know, yesterday I was like, I wanted to pick up some sessions, you know, some lighter stuff. Because traditionally, we drink a lot of heavier stuff, especially myself, you know, a lot of higher gravity, darker beers. So I wanted to pick up something lighter. So I went with this at a 4.2%. At a Definitely not something I traditionally like in terms of flavor or my style, but I, I just, I wanted to go that route this week, just, you know, so... Got to try something new. Got to keep it spicy. That's true, and it was, and that's actually pretty good. I I, I really like that for just a, a clean, crisp flavor. You know, it's a, it's called Seven A.M. But on the back, you know, it's beer flavored beer, which, you know, it it it, it kind of is. I I kind of get a little bit of uh, lemony citrus flavor on the on the back end, so um, it's actually better than I expected. You know, I was anticipating, given the style, that I was going to give this like a three, but. Um, uh, no, I, I think I would probably go with uh, probably a 3.8 with it. Um, obviously, you know, I try to lean towards, you know, 
higher on my my rating scale is you know to be darker heavier beers but um this just being something i would you know drink by the pool or just you know have a two or three of them it's actually really really good i i, I enjoy it I a lot more than i expected and just nice. looking at the glass it doesn't look as clear as mm -hmm. your your bud lights your cores light so it's got a no it's definitely filter. definitely hazy unfiltered edition. and i think that's probably where i'm picking up some of the you know the lemony citrus so from, for a, from for a hell's lager, lager. it doesn't look like a hell's lager Mm -hmm. yeah, right. You're definitely more generous than that than you were with the loggers I know we've tried beforehand. I know. Oh, no. So. And this is definitely, um, yeah, no, this is definitely doesn't should taste like your yingling or a more traditional, like slightly darker ish lager. You know, it's definitely more of a, almost takes more between a, a Hefeweizen and a lager than, okay. than a strict lager. So, I mean, we're going to go with it because the brewery is calling the style a lager. Is it the best lager you've ever had? I mean, since I'm not a logger fan, it's probably, yeah, it's probably the top ones. Yeah, since, since the, if the brewery's calling it a logger, I'm just going by the brewery's classification. Yeah, probably. So this the is Gauntlet has been thrown down. So this is Southern Brewing. Yep. yep. In Athens. In, in Athens. How long? Are they, they, I'm, it's not a name I heard mentioned a lot. How long? Uh, are they a couple of years, maybe. Yeah. Okay. They did a tap takeover at a local beer establishment, Barley Garden. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I stopped in, I just wanted a burger and they were there and they had some really phenomenal beers on tap. They brought in some of their special beer and it was really, really good. I think we just don't get a lot of it here because they're Athens based and they're still pretty small. Okay. But I, they do a garage club type thing where you can buy in for, I think it's like a grand or two a year and you get two bottles a month of their barrel age special release kind of thing. Do they so. do like Creature Comforts does when they sell the spots for tailgating at, uh, well, for those that may be out of state, University of Georgia is in Athens. Um, so I know Creature Comforts, there's another brewery that's been gaining popularity over the past three or four years. They have like a tailgating special. So one of these guys do something similar to kind of compete with that, not knowing where they are in Athens. Didn't Creature right. Comforts have a beer in Infinity War? Yeah, that's what Thor was yeah. drinking most Thor of the time when yeah. they found him. Yeah, that's right. What is it, Tropicana, I think? Or I it was Tropicalia. Tropicalia. Yeah, Tropicalia, yeah. Tropicalia, yeah. Which is a good Tro beer. Tropicalia. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was, on Thor, the it was filmed in Atlanta, so why not use a beer that's, yeah. Correct. Look at that, look at that brand placement. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically not, Athens is technically not in Atlanta, but we'll just gloss over that. Yeah. But it's, it's like anything else. The, the farther you are away from home, when somebody asks where you are, the far, like, the bigger your distance is. So if you're, like, in Japan... And somebody asks where you're from, you say United States. You know, if you're in California, you say Georgia. If you're in Alabama, you say, oh, from Atlanta. If you're in Georgia, you say Woodstock or, you know, Decatur Tommy. or something like that. Exactly. If you're in Woodstock, where I live and, you know, Alex lives right up the road and Tyler's not so far away, we start taking like street names or even like smaller communities. So, yeah. I'd say uh, to say I live in coming between the Siemens, the Dicks, and the BJs. Exactly. I mean, it's it true. Metaphor? There it is, everybody. Mike, <laughs> Google it. Google it. It's a Google thing. It. <laughs> Seaman dicks and BJs. There we go. <clears throat> so high-ranking beers tonight, and yeah. three more traditional styles. I mean, I got a sour, which has I mean, been around for a long time, as it was the original way to brew beer was more sour. But um, you know, it's interesting to see us shift gears a little bit tonight to move away from our heavy bit stuff are kind of big beers, the stuff that's overhyped the whales, too. Something you can go out and buy off the shelf. Andrew, yours is a little bit different because I think that's more of a special. <laughs> um, but the style... Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, the the situational ethics. If you yeah. can find a bottle that they've made, then yeah, you're, you're getting... It lucky. distributes, so... It does. But nothing is a, a outlandish style, so it's good to see us no. delving into this, and, and it's interesting. Next week, we'll have something that's... You know, a quadruple IPA, you know, aged on Belgian rock salt. Maybe if I get lucky and I can Blood get it again margarita. tomorrow, I'm going to try to pre-order some more Smiggles oh. to see if this batch is better than the last batch. Are they making another batch? Obviously. They have another batch. They've okay. added more of everything from what I read. So make sure they don't recognize you. <laughs> hey, I mean, I really like a lot of their beer. They just I missed the mark on that one. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Pontu. We need to start doing Pontu. Got to be able to do some criticism. That's the way the world works. Yeah. So, All right. Well, you guys ready to sign it off for the evening? Let's sign it off. Yeah. yeah.
Well, as we always say, be safe and may, may the, the brew, brew be with, be with you. you. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers, everybody.